Early voting is underway in Florida. Voters heading out in droves to polling stations ahead of schedule. More Democrats have shown up to cast their votes for the next commander in chief, but Republicans outpacing Democrats in the mail in ballot. So, what will happen on Election Day here now to talk about all of it is Blaze Angolia, Florida GOP chairman. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, what do you think is behind that? I mean, more Republicans voting by mail, more Democrats going to the going to the polling places early, does it have to do with the way the different parties are getting out the vote? Yeah, over the years, traditionally here in the state of Florida, the uh, Republicans have voted more often by absentee ballot, and Democrats, their plan is to get many people out to the polls. But I will tell you, during early voting, but I will tell you that even though the Democrats are beating us right now in early voting, overall, we still have more Republican votes banked than they have yeah. Democrat bank. Okay. Um, I, I would be interested to know what is the number one issue that you think is driving voters? I mean, if you look at Obamacare, for example, your premiums are going up 14 percent, which sounds like a bargain versus the West, rest of the nation. But I would point out it's double what the average was last year. It's also much faster than inflation, much faster than wage growth. I mean, it's still a huge jump for people. Is that one of the drivers or do you think are people looking at... Um, the email situation or are they looking at Trump's personal life? I mean, what's driving voters? Well, I hear personally the issues that, um, I'm sorry, the issues in Florida that drive, uh, that are driving the vote of the day is the economy and national security. Look, we want a, an economy that is thriving here, but we also know that the federal government puts a lot of handcuffs on us where we cannot thrive probably as quickly as we want to be. And Hillary Clinton is just going to be um, more of the same, more of a stagnant economy. And Obamacare is part of that. Obamacare is just another regulation that is killing our families here, killing our small businesses, and quite frankly, they cannot afford the rate hike. But they also see Obamacare as sort of like a microcosm of what the federal government is. It's just more government control that forces prices higher and higher on everyday Floridians. Yeah. Uh, you said national security is a big concern as well. I mean, we haven't at the beginning yeah. of this campaign. That was a huge point, and we were seeing attacks in France and elsewhere and here in American soil. That part has really quieted down in these past couple months. Do you still think it's at the forefront down in Florida? Yep. Yeah, it is because, and it has not quieted down here in Florida. Look, Florida, we are an extremely veteran friendly state. We have a lot of military installations here in Florida. We have a lot of retirees that are veterans, and they cannot stand the fact of a Hillary Clinton presidency. Hillary Clinton, who would lie to the families of Benghazi, these people remember, the veterans remember that, and they're going to okay. come out and they're going to vote for Mr. Trump. I hate Trump. to cut you off, but we're, running, we're all out of time. We're up against a hard break. Please, thank you for that. We appreciate it.